What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna to be looking at 25x i want to give you guys some tricks and tips to help you you know you know stack the odds in your favor and really get some of the champions that you want for your account so the first thing we're going to look at is the shards so ancient shards and primal shards are going to be the worst chance well no actual primal shards will be the worst for you to try and get the legendaries that you want because you don't get that many so they'll be the worst then it's going to be ancients and for ancients as you can see you don't get the flat 25 straight off the bat it goes 15 20 25 so what happens is if you pull a legendary it goes from 15 to 20 um, and then if you pull another legendary it goes to 25 if it's not one of the ones from the pool so obviously you're gonna have to pull three legendaries to get to that 25 and hopefully that third one will be the one that you want so with ancient shards that's going to be like 600 ancients if you hit mercy each time and in general that's how it rolls for me and so if you do 600 ancients that's going to be about eight months of saving up ancient shards if you're free to play which is pretty crazy primal shards that's going to be years i don't even know how long it will take you to save up 600 ancient uh 600 primal shards it'll just be like years so don't even think about it uh void shards it's going to take you absolutely well no it's not going to take as long but probably 600 void shards will be about 18 months that's a year and a half um as end game free to play so again that's a really really a long time to try and invest into just you know three champions but sacred shards sacred shards are going to be your go-to for 25x this is where we're going to have the best chance of really getting the legendaries that we want that are non-void um so yeah so you've got 15 20 25 and with sacred shards you have like sort of it'll be between five to ten sacreds to get the legendary that you want so these are you know sacred shards we're going to be saving these now do not blow them like definitely do not pull them during like uh, fusions and stuff pull your ancients for fusions but we are not pulling sacreds during fusions no way this is just too valuable so we've looked at the shards let's talk about targeting and focusing some champions i actually want to talk about void shards first so how you want to prioritize content pve is always your number one it's your go-to and clan boss is number one clan boss you want to be able to one key ultra nightmare and that is going to give you the best rewards um out of you know out of all like out of all clan bosses and out of all dungeons so what we're going to do is going to be actually an epic and we're looking for Mania's. Mania is going to be our go-to. So I reckon if you have about 80 Voyage Shards and you see Mana, uh, Mania up for grabs, that is going to be the best chance of you getting Mania. So to save up 80 Voyage Shards as endgame free to play, it takes me about, I would say about, uh, about, about two and a half months. So that's not too bad. Obviously, if you're not hitting Clan Boss and sort of the level where I am, um, so two and a half months, we'll say about five months, but five months to save up for two man eaters is a hundred percent worth. That will be my go-to if I was like uh, on a new account, that's what I'd be trying to do. And like man eaters is like my favorite clan boss team to set up. It's pretty easy to do once you got the speeds down and it's reliable. You know, I've been using the same team comp for like three years now, no problems. I know other people that have like used the infinity team comps and stuff like that and they do like fall out of whack every now and then and it can really cause issues and we don't want that so yeah so that would be my number one tip would be going for void shards first or well, no save them up for like the man eater that is like just huge now sacreds what are we gonna be looking at sacreds again same sort of thing like for clan boss if you see like an unkillable champion up for grabs maybe you're gonna go for it because if it's if you can do the same thing that man eater can do of course you're going to go for it and you want to be one key in that clan boss ultra nightmare as soon as possible so say we, we, we've done that now we're going to look at our accounts so obviously pve is king and the next thing would be hydra so what we'd be doing is looking for champions that are going to help us progress in hydra so out of these ones it'd be like necmo cantra and then probably um teo so if you're you know for me 
I'm okay with Hydra. Like I can, I can do it or it doesn't really affect me. Um, the next thing I'd be looking at is I would probably skip dungeons and just go to arena. Cause I love arena arena. You know, it's where I have the most fun in the game. So if I was going for arena, these would be the champions that I would be focusing for this, uh, 25 X. So Soltas, amazing for arena. Also great for dragon. Um, the hedgehog, I don't actually know his name, but, um, he's really good for arena as well. Counter slicks, like great for locking out champions as well. I actually really like her. Don't have her on my account, but she'd be a great pool as well. Even with like the stone skin metal, she'd still be great for live arena as well. And then of course, if you're going for like PVE content, TO would be like number one. And I'll probably take Necmo anyway, because I just love Necmo. And then Saltus uh, can solo Dragon Hard. So um, that'd be like the options I'd be going for dungeons and stuff. But what you really have to think about is it's okay to skip 25 X's. If they were like trash champions up for grabs, I would say just skip, just skip and save the next one because we really want to focus on the champions that we want. And okay, you might miss out on some legendary books, but I'd rather have one amazing God tier champion than five mediocre champions that I can book. I'd rather miss out on the books and get like that god tier champion and get the books later and book them out later it's perfectly fine um so yeah so champions that i want to focus on for me and this is one thing that annoyed me is that i thought the way this i thought this looked how it originally was going to be was that you would just get um three champions that you want any champion obviously i guess that kind of me being a little bit greedy is free to play um obviously 10x is a bit like this where it's just 10 champions out of the pool um, but yeah, so for me, Duchess and Prince Kaimar, if I see them up for grabs, they're, the, they're my go-to. That's who I'm focusing for. Um, and that's why I'm just going to skip these 25 X's until I see a Duchess or Prince Kaimar up for grabs. Cause they would just be the biggest game changers for my account. But yeah, but if there's just trash up here, you know, you don't have to pull just skip. Um, but yeah, those are like the main sort of things you should be focusing on those are my main tricks and tips um and of course obviously there's no guarantees but we want to you know try our best to try and get those champions by you know being smart and putting the odds in our favor and it's because you know, i've got 56 sacreds i've been saving for a long time and i will not pull until christmas because i'm hoping they are going to do something really really juicy for us and you can see like the account is really healthy at the moment you know almost 400 ancients we've almost got 18 or well, almost 20 primals and with the primal shards i'm not going to pull these unless there's a 2x um, one thing i want to say as well is if your account's new only pull during 2x's for the first year um you know it's going to take a very you need to build up your account as quickly as possible and by pulling 2x's you have the best chance of getting the best epics and and you know a better chance of getting legendaries they may not be the ones you want but you'll have more then you know because it's still low odds on pulling and the next thing i want to touch on is empowerment obviously if you're um like a whale i've got no empowered champions but if you're a big spender you know of course, if you see specific champions that you want to empower, like maybe like a Harima or Candafon, say it's Candafon, you love Candafon, you use him all the time in Arena. Of course, you see him up for grabs, you are going to try and empower him. That's like one thing you can do. But I think the other thing, I don't think this will affect Spender so much, but if you're free to play, being able to build up your legendary faction guardians is a big one as well. So hopefully, like for me, like you can see I've only got two champion two doubles for high elves and if i could get that plus 10 speed for arbiter that would be huge for arena um i use arbiter all the time in live arena even in the top 1200 i'm still getting wins with arbiter like she is such a hard carry for me so that plus 10 speed would be absolutely huge so you could actually use this to target faction guardians and the other two that are really big are demon spawn and undead so undead and demon spawn have probably the best like faction guardian champion pools um in the game and say for example say you got cfi plus 10 on cfi or rotos a rotos that'd be huge like um you know just really ups your game you know cfi being one of the best supports and rotos being one of the best damage dealers so again if you say you wanted to build up your faction guardians that plus 10 speed would be huge 
And again, for Demon Spawn, so many champions, but obviously a big one for me just be Duchess, having that plus 10 speed. So yeah, that's all the tricks and tips that I've got. If you guys have got any ideas or tricks and tips, share them in the comments below. Share your knowledge. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.